Hi everyone. Well, I can't um, overestimate how amazed, um, delighted I am at the response um, to these lathe knives. Um, since I put this on, um, loads of well wishes, loads of people have got confidence in me making them for them. Uh, absolutely lovely. This is my original one that I uh, had on uh, on my YouTube a while ago. And I've used it over and over and over again. And I absolutely love it. And I've now got used to it. I'm practicing different ways of holding it. Um, I'm now starting to use kind of the over, what I call the over grip, uh, which a lot of the Russian turners, which of course this is based on, uh, they, they use. I know a lot of people would be against having your hand over the tool rest. Um, and I appreciate that concern. You can use this however you feel comfortable using it. Um, but a lot of the feedback, um, lots and lots of very positive comments. There was one guy who advised me on, on my welding, um, on the hardening and the tempering and so on. And, and I really do thank um, certainly that guy and a, and a few others uh, who said a few good things. Now, a, a lot of people have asked about... Um, the, the the sharpening of these things and how long the blade's going to last. You know, if you keep sharpening, it's going to be left down to nothing. Um, a video I, I put out the other day is to to avoid using your uh, angle grinder and even your CBN wheels to sharpen these things, just to use like a kitchen knife sharpener. Uh, these are particularly brilliant. Um, uh, they've got a couple of little carbide blades in there. And they put a nice fresh edge uh, on your on your blade, um, so that you can use it again. And it's taking off, you know, hardly any uh, of the base metal. And you get a you know razor sharp edge. One of the comments, uh, which has been repeated by many people, was. Um, could we have one of these with a replaceable tip? And I got to work and I started thinking about it and I thought, well, that would be really good. Um, so I've, I've had to play around different shape heads and different shape uh, cutting angles and so on. And here's what I'm calling the evolution. And this... is what I've come up with. And again, um, I'll be refining this, and if anybody's interested, I'll have a few of them on my Etsy page. Um, it's the same 16mm stainless steel stock, heavy, uh, obviously with a handle. And you've got an M5 um, nut uh, tapped into the bar in such a position so that it's centralised on the bar perfectly straight and of course this head uh, can come off and uh, not only that um, I'm going to produce these heads in straight edge and curved so let's see what this uh, performs like I'm hardly hardly touching the wood what you get off are these little little wispy wispy cuts you're leaving a very smooth finish behind same sort of cuts you can do I 
And then if you can see how, how shiny that is, even a lovely edge. Press it if you want. All right, first impressions. I think it's pretty good. It's, um, I haven't hardened and tempered this blade. This is just purely um, the steel that I normally use, um, taken down to a sharp edge. And then, you know, honed using the little pocket sharpener. And I can feel, I think I can feel that it's not um, hardened like it should be. But then I got to thinking, right, okay, this is removable. So, uh, like I say, uh, M5 bolt. So we'll take that off. No problem. And what I've done. If I mill this in such a way that it'll fit one of the carbide tips that I use. This is a radius tip. Let's just try and try and hold this. I need three arms of course. So exactly the same bolt. I've deliberately offset the hole so that the carbide obviously overhangs at the front but it overhangs over here as well all right so let's see what that's like and i'm sure other carbide tips would fit as long as the bolt goes through the hole It's awesome. <laughs> so, a little bit more flexibility. Um, re replaceable cutter heads. And if people are interested, you let me know, and I'll I'll put them on my Etsy page, uh, so you could just buy a cutter. If you've got the bar, you know you'd be able to buy a bar and handle with a cutter anyway. But 
um, you can buy a couple of cutters, whichever. Um, or you know what, you go ahead, make them yourself. You get in touch. Um, I'll tell you exactly how I made it. Uh, the steel, the hardening process, the, the forging, all, all that stuff. Cutting it and getting a nice right angle there. Uh, so the cutter's flat. Um, just generally, it's turned out to be a great bit of kit. I'm going to harden that blade and I'm going to put it through its paces. Um, so there you go, sop that out. And I'll try with my two hands, which weren't working very well before. Put that back in there. It just feels right, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't just look awesome, it, 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 it does, it feels right. I didn't have, didn't feel like the tool was coming loose in my hand or anything. It didn't feel like it wanted to snap. no rattles on the blade, no pops, no squeaks, it, it just feels like a solid tool. Well there you go, that's the lathe knife evolution. Made to take carbide tips as well. Thanks for watching.